Good morning and welcome to night six of Vlognica. It's actually the morning. Yes. Um, I am just scurrying around the house trying to clean up everything from last night because it's a big mess. I also have two jet lagged little boys that I'm really not sure what to do with in terms of schedule. Hey, Corey. So this one, he's eating Cheerios, woke up at eight, which is great, but now I'm like, I don't know what to do because normally he does his morning nap at 9.30, but now it would be too early. <sighs> Calamity. And then my older one is still sleeping. Yesterday he slept till like 11. I tried to wake him up at 10. He was not having his, so I don't know. Everything's all messed up. And then of course he didn't want to go to bed last night. Also, this I realize is a problem with Hanukkah. I didn't realize before because my son's only three, my oldest one, so we never really had this issue before. But giving presents at night is just a bad idea because then of course they don't want to go to bed. They want to play with their presents. So I don't know. I would love to just give them in the morning and I think that's fine even if it's like not next to candle lighting time. If there's any other Jewish moms out there, let me know what you guys do about this. I'm sure it's different I guess as the kids get older or their bedtimes get later. But for us, my husband comes home from work. Usually the kids have already eaten dinner. They play with him for a little bit and then they go to bed. But to do the whole like candle lighting presents right you know, half an hour before bedtime, it's just not working for us. So anyways, I would give them to them in the morning, which is fine, and I think we might do that this weekend. But I don't want to do it when my husband's at work, because that doesn't really seem fair, and we especially can't do it before he leaves for work now, because they're jet lagged and not waking up. So, I just don't know what to do. So yeah, I'm really curious, other Jewish moms out there with little ones, do you do Hanukkah presents at night? And how does that work out for you at bedtime? Anyways, we're gonna get the day started. I got a lot planned for the first time since this little one was born, I think. I'm going to the grocery store by myself. What? Yeah, so I'm taking, we're gonna spend Shabbat, Hanukkah Shabbat with, um, at my husband's parents' house tonight. So I'm gonna drop them off there a little bit earlier, go to the grocery store, and then come back for dinner. I'm so excited, guys. I have not been to the grocery store by myself, like I said. In almost a year <laughs> so it's just gonna be a little treat at least i don't think i have anyways let's get the day started happy hanukkah and shabbat shabbat shalom i want to know if anybody else has a little baby who is obsessed with brooms and other kitchen items corey by the way if you're wondering why we I have not bought him a ton of Hanukkah toys. It's because he will not play the toys. Like, it doesn't matter what they are, unless Max is at that moment playing with them. He's not interested. He only wants kitchen items, especially brooms, brushes, and kitchen gloves. Right, Glory? So, this is what he does. He loves to hold the broom and march it around the house. Um, those are some muffin cups that he's been playing with. Okay, and he just takes it everywhere with him. Yeah. So if as I'm vlogging, you guys see brooms laying around the house or other random kitchen items, that's why. <laughs> we are having a very slow moving morning this morning. And the little boys are up and playing with their Hanukkah presents from last night, which is very cute. You guys like your Hanukkah presents? Huh? Hello? Anybody yeah. there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember what you told him about the latkes? What did you tell him, Max? They look like a latka pizza. Latka pizza, but just to pretend to eat them, right? Last night, Max was explaining to Corey that you just pretend to eat pretend food, that you don't actually eat it, right? But that's kind of hard for a baby to understand. <laughs> Uh, but they're being very cute. You guys are playing very nicely this morning. How's your latkes, Corey? Those are the lack of pizza. How's your lack of pizza? So yeah, we actually gave away one of these sets on my Instagram. It's really nice though, I think, from KidCraft. Um, comes with the Hanukkah candles that they can practice putting in and out of the menorah, or you can put a lock in the menorah. <laughs> um, a frying pan, and these little gouts, and the dreidel, and then the latkes. So yeah, I think that's a really cute Hanukkah set. They were actually sold out of it, um, I guess last week before Hanukkah, but if it's still available, I'll put a link to it in the description if you guys want to get one. 
Okay, we're just FaceTiming Granny while we eat our breakfast and opening Granny's Hanukkah present. It's a train. It's a train. Let's see. Open it up. Those. Numbers on the train. Numbers. Can you say thank you to Granny? Thank you, Granny. I will need a scissors. You're right. We probably will need a scissors. Some building. Very special to have Hanukkah FaceTime presents. <laughs> By the way, Corey is doing his nap right now. So we're just relaxing and playing with Hanukkah presents. You love it, Max? Yeah? The chaos of Hanukkah. What do you think, Greedy? Do you want some toys to play with? She's so cute. So it's a little bit later on in the morning and we've migrated into my room. Max, what you doing? Playing with your new train? I'm also just so thankful that this year Hanukkah and Christmas overlap. I just think it's the best because we're on winter break from school while, while it's Hanukkah time. We have all these nice presents to play with while we're on a break from school. We're celebrating and doing fun festive stuff while everyone else in the world is celebrating and doing fun festive stuff. So I just think it's really nice. And I have made a video before about like being Jewish on Christmas and I always talk about how I have so much Christmas envy. But this is the first year I really haven't because I felt like there's so much Hanukkah stuff going on over Christmas that I'm like not even thinking about Christmas. So I think it's just really nice. And I want to show you guys something else. Oh my goodness, got trains under tunnels. Got sleeping pups as usual. So this is what I want to show you guys. This is from the brand Sugarfina and it's eight nights of life. It's a Hanukkah gift set. So I know this is like late to show you guys. If you follow me on Instagram though, you would have seen this in time. But each night um, you take out the box and there's a candy inside and then you flip it. So obviously I've eaten night one. <laughs> um, I just haven't flipped it, but I wanted to show you guys because we're on night number five so someone had said oh it's kind of like an advent kind of thing like you know counting the dates of Hanukkah but I think it actually makes a lot of sense for Hanukkah because on Hanukkah you know you go eight night by night leading up to eight nights so yeah I still have some candies left over which I'll have right now oh these are so good um so yeah because we've been away I'm a little bit behind on our candy box but I just think it's so nice so yeah, I talked about on my Instagram how I always love when companies think about Hanukkah stuff, especially like big companies like Sugarfina, you know, like that make nice quality things because sometimes the Jewish products out there are like really cheap or really, um, so I always just love when there's like some actual nice quality things to buy for Hanukkah because growing up that was not the case. So yeah, I just love showing you guys these kind of things because I'm always hopeful that more companies will do things like this. Big news guys, I am dressed in like actual clothes, actual pants. My jeans have a zipper and a button. This is the first time this has happened, well, definitely since I came home, but even on the trip, I don't think I ever wore real pants because we were like hiking and in the snow. So this is a big deal. This is ruining my mother-in-law's for dinner. Gotta wear pants. So, Max, what'd you have to? Once more fun than cleaning up. Go clean up. We love to clean up. We love to clean, 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 clean. Um, we're singing and playing with lollipops and sort of eating lunch. Corey is inspecting my cabinets. Corey, I see you. I see you. What are you doing? <laughs> this is his favorite activity is figuring out. I mean, he already knows which cabinets don't have baby locks on them. And going in. Yeah, so that's the update here. I just had to let you guys know I put on pants today and actually got dressed. I know, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So we are about to go. I'm gonna drop off the boys and go grocery shopping all by myself. No one's gonna be complaining or trying to crawl out of their stroller. But I really need to because we are hosting people on Sunday. I think I mentioned this, it's not a party. I told them it's not a Hanukkah party because then everyone's expectations will be down here for, what's gonna, for what it's gonna be. If I told them it was a Hanukkah party, they might think there would be like, I don't know, a normal menu, decorations, 
whatever parties entail. So I t was very sick. This is not a party. It's just a Hanukkah get together. But I still do need to um, feed them. So I'm gonna make sure to get everything on my list. Yes, there's no list. Of course there's no list. But I, in my head, there's like a little bit of a list of what I need to buy for Sunday. Also, as you guys saw yesterday, we have zero food in our house. Well, I don't mean to sound, um, I don't mean to exaggerate. We do have a few little things like um, <laughs> Lindor truffles, protein powder nobody's touched in a year, baking soda, old milk. Thankfully, our dog walker baked us some banana bread. Um, so yeah, it's grim. Need to go to the grocery store. That's the update here. See you guys for Hanukkah, Shabbat, and grocery shopping. See you soon. Here I go, guys. Solo shopping it up. Okay, guys. So Trader Joe's has kosher brisket. So we're gonna get two of those. And then, of course, I got my potatoes and onion for lock bar. And we're done. That was really nice to have a completely um, undisturbed shopping trip. I mean, I love my boys. I love taking them everywhere. But I find that when I'm in the grocery store, I cannot concentrate very well, like at the best of times. I don't have ADD or anything like that. But for some reason, grocery shopping is really hard for me. I always come home with like nothing that I planned. My husband always makes fun of me because he's like, I don't know how you have your life together, but you cannot do a grocery shop. But I think part of the reason is because I have like 90% of my attention focused on the boys and 10% on the food. Or probably 5% on the food and 5% on my own hunger and just like looking at things I want to eat. Speaking of which. You know I treated myself. Oh God, <laughs> nougat down. <laughs> Just some nougat. Yes, I've already opened it between the grocery store and my car. I was at Trader Joe's, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, this is my favorite nougat in the freaking world. Okay, here's a two-minute nougat segment. Feel free to fast forward. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Look at that chocolate. There's all this candy in it. I don't know what it is. It's like. There's pieces of like nuts and other chewy candy and chocolate. It's the best thing ever. It came out right around my birthday in November. And I told my husband, I was like, this is just a special birthday treat. He's like, mm-hmm. And literally every time I've gone to Trader Joe's since then, I've gotten that new kit. It's so freaking good. But today was a special day, so I had to get it. Annie, who's all, I'm done grocery shopping. I'm going to go to my little boys. going to do Shabbat and Hanukkah at mother-in-law's. And father-in-law's. I, I always say it's a Bubby's house, but it's Bubby and Grip's house. And yeah, let's go. Okay, we are prepping for Shabbatnika tonight. Check it out. Okay. Look at all those candles. Presents for tonight. Presents for tonight. And look at this banner and lots of presents. Come here, come on, take a step. Take a step. Here we go. Almost. Come here. Here we go. Come on. That's almost counts. Good job. This is Corey's hospital blanket. Wait, let's see his feet. Let me see the bunny's feet. Look at this. Corey Doe. Do you want a $100 wine voucher? This is one. What did you get? That's his hospital blanket. Do you remember that hospital blanket, Corey? Aww. Okay, 
guys, I'm headed home. I just wanted to say good night, Shabbat Shalom. And one quick little explanation in case it wasn't clear about Corey's Hanukkah present is that um, Max had gotten that same thing when he was born, which is um, this artist on Etsy who takes hospital blankets and like makes them into these stuffed animals. And so we had saved Corey's um, and my mother-in-law was gonna do the same thing, but the woman who makes it actually had a baby and couldn't, like took a break. So um, I had no idea that it was going to be a Sonica present. I had like completely forgotten about it. I mean, I had thought about it from time to time, like when will this woman ever come back so we can get this thing made? Um, so yeah, that was a really nice surprise. So anywho's Shabbat Shalom. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the one tomorrow. Bye.